3D point clouds provide a high quality visual model that can be used as the basis for creating 3D geometry within 3ds Max. When working with point clouds within 3ds Max, the standard snaps for geometry are augmented by the ability to snap to the points in the point cloud. This lesson is going to utilize the 2.5D snap capabilities to create a spline object that matches the outline of the countertops. The spline can then be used to extrude a three-dimensional object. In order to be able to snap to the points in a point cloud, right-click the Snap Toggle button. This opens the Grid and Snap Settings dialog. On the Snaps tab, make sure all the snaps are cleared by clicking the Clear All button at the bottom of the panel. Expand the Snap Type dropdown located in the upper left of the Snaps panel and choose Point Cloud Objects. Check Point Cloud Vertex to enable you to snap to the vertices within the point cloud. Close the Grid and Snap Settings dialog. Click and hold the Snap Toggle button and choose 2.5 from the flyout. This will draw an object on the World XY plane while allowing you to snap to points that are above the XY plane. Click the Create tab in the Command Panel, change to the Shapes option, and choose Line from the Object Type rollout. Since the 2.5D snap is enabled, you can begin drawing in either the Top Viewport or the 3D Orthographic View. For this lesson, Click to create the first point of the line in the top view. To make it easier to work with, the limits of the point cloud have been reduced to show only the section required for modeling the counters. Click to place the first point of the line at the lower right corner of the kitchen. The next point is going to be at the front of the counter, just up in the Y a little bit from the original point. In order to maintain straight segments and 90 degree corners, hold the shift key as you draw the points of the line. Be very careful and pay attention to where the snap point is located on the point cloud object. Click to create the second point, and then place the third point at the inside left corner of the counter. If your line snaps to a point that you did not want, simply press the backspace key once to undo the last point you added. Create the next point at the inside of the upper portion of the counter. Click to create the fifth point towards the right side of the counter at the top part of the view, working your way around the counter as you create the vertices for the shape. Create the next point on the top edge of the counter island. Click to create the next point on the left side at the top corner of the counter. Follow the left edge down and create a point towards the lower left, then another point down to the right of that, completing the back corner of the kitchen. The last point should be right on top of the first point that you created. 3ds Max prompts you to close the spline. Click Yes. This creates a simple outline of the countertops. Change to the Modify panel. From the Modifier stack, Add an extrude modifier to the line. In the parameters rollout for the extrude modifier, set the amount to 2 feet 11 inches. You can see that while it's not perfect, the extruded shape gives you a starting point for modeling the remaining cabinets and countertop. By using the point cloud and snapping to the point cloud vertices, you are able to model polygon geometry that matches the point cloud. 